I would not, and I repeat, I would not put this truck or trailer on that road going in or out of Yellowstone National Park from Gardner, Montana. I think we're under something good. Welcome back fellow adventurers and to everyone coming to Yellowstone this summer. We have kind of a 911 emergency, um, at least from my perspective, for towing in from the north entrance in Gardner, Montana. After the flood in 22, when we washed out the lower road that comes in from Gardner, they decided to just pave over what we refer to often as the Jeep Road. And the Jeep Road really was actually just the wagon train road from the early 1900s, how they got from Gardner to Mammoth Hot Springs. And so they just paved that over and we were in the park um, coming back from Gardner. And as we were rounding the corner, headed back up the hill, and yeah, the hills are steep and um, curvy, uh, we came across a full-size Dodge pulling a redwood, probably 40 foot or longer trailer coming down the hill. And these hills are no joke, very steep coming down. And as we saw him in our vision, I was hoping the dash cam had more memory and would have picked it up, but it didn't. As we picked him up in the, our vision, um, his front brakes were not only smoking, they were on fire. There were flames coming out of the brakes and we got him to slow down and stop to tell him that his brakes were on fire because um, he was none the wiser, but it was all trailer brake. His front brakes were completely gone. <clears throat> when he tried to get the trailer moving again, it wasn't a very good uh, sound coming from the front of his truck, um, but the fire had gone out, so that was a good thing. But at that point, wherever he was going, his brakes were already shot. So this is a video to just show you um, exactly what the road looks like coming up from Gardner, and I want you guys to understand that with all my towing experience, I've been towing vehicles since I was in my uh, late teens and ever since then. And we've been pulling this uh, 45 foot Valor for more than two years now. And I had travel trailers before that that were more than 36 feet. I would not, and I repeat, I would not put this truck or trailer on that road going in or out of Yellowstone National Park from Gardner, Montana. The road is just too curvy and it's just dangerous. Going up, trying to keep the trailers on the road, you're going to have to swap lanes and coming down, um, you can't use any speed at all and you're still going to be swapping lanes trying to keep the trailer on the road. When they were doing some of the repair work in the park, they were bringing big rigs up through Gardner through that road and they finally stopped because they had four or five of them burned down. Um, because they were overheating trying to get the load up the hill. That's how steep it is. And then they had a bunch of them literally drive off the road and tip over. So now any of the work trucks coming in are coming in through west. Um, so please heed the warning. Um, this is not a safe road to tow in. Maybe if you have a 20 foot or less trailer and a single axle, um, you could probably do it. But then again, your tow vehicle would be under extreme stress trying to get up the hill. So Please watch this uh, clip. You can kind of get an idea just how bad this road is. So again, please be safe out there. And remember that adventure lies at every turn. Come take the turn with us. Thanks. So here we are just starting the climb from Gardner. Just past the gate shack. And as you can see, we're coming up the road and we get all of our caution signs. So there's our speed limit of 25. You can see right here. And then it shows you that this is curvy for the next four miles, but it seems like 20. And then here's one of the important things to say. And now we're going to start our turn coming up. And this is more than 2,000 feet vertical climb in four miles coming up from Gardner into Mammoth Hot Springs. As we're making the climb, keep watching the down section of the road. You're going to see lots and lots of skid marks as we come into the corners. It's a beautiful drive coming up the hill though. And 
there's multiple warning signs along the way. This one's kind of hard to read, but I think it was talking about um, large animals being on the road because the elk frequent this area and have a tendency to cross the road. Also some mountain goats. And it says right here, stay in your lane 15 miles an hour in the corners. You can see the picture right here. And if you try to carry any speed at all going up the hill, it's very hard to maintain your lanes. And this is about the point where we noticed the gentleman in the big blue redwood coming down the hill, right about where those gray cars are. And we stopped because you could see that his brakes were on fire and he pulled over in that pullout area right there. But you can see all the skid marks on the road right here. And even with a diesel trying to maintain a RPM to get up the hill is very difficult because it's that steep. Off to the left is the canyon that used to run the original road. And it was pretty much flat until you climbed up towards Mammoth Hot Springs because it ran right along the river valley. Also on the left is where the bighorn sheep are. But as you can see coming up around these corners here, lots of cars, lots of brakes. And right here in this corner, lots of skid marks loss of control in other lanes that's why they had that sign about staying in other lanes there have been a lot of accidents on this road since they opened it but they don't really have any options until they get the road rebuilt down on the river because it's the only way to keep it open this road is open year round from gardner to cook city because it's the lifeline for cook city montana and silvergate so they keep it open, and this is how those people that stay up there year-round get their food and their mail and medical supplies and medical services by driving down this road. So they had to keep this road open, even though it's not very safe. Lots of pull-outs, though, going up and down. So if you feel that you're coming down the hill and it feels like your brakes are starting to fade, even if you're not pulling a trailer, there's lots of places to pull over, come to a complete stop, and let your brakes cool off. And you can see right here this 180 degree turn at 15 miles an hour. And then look down and you can see all of the skid marks, even skid marks way over into the other lane where they had lost control because this road is, again, not safe for traveling. Even I'm having a hard time standing in the middle of the road, trying to keep some speed up so not lug the engine. And the big trailers and the truck trailers coming down the hill, they had quite an issue with this road. Now we're getting more of the steep out of the way, but that doesn't alleviate the fact that we're going to have lots of very steep corners. And again, the speed limit's only 25 miles an hour all the way to the top. It's just a little over five miles coming from Gardner to Mammoth Hot Springs, but it is difficult. Great pull out right here. And that sign is warning everyone going down the hill to try to stay in their lane. A couple of these pull outs are able to actually look down into the valley and see where the swimming hole used to be down there. And now you can actually see that they're doing road construction to pick it back up this year and fix the road. There went one of the contractors and you can see he's got his flashing lights on as a warning. And when we get done with getting to the top, I'm going to turn around and put another video here that's going to show you what it's like coming from the top to the bottom or from Mammoth Hot Springs back down to Gardner, Montana, and you will be able to see what it looks like going in the other direction. It is a pretty drive, but it's also a dangerous drive, especially if you're towing RVs.
as you can see to the left the view is fantastic as you come up over here we never got to see these when we were down in the bottom of the riverbed going into gardner but those of us that knew about the jeep trail could come through here and catch these spectacular views you can see up ahead there was a motorhome and he was struggling um, trying to get up the hill and this is even a chore for most motorhomes Again, you can see the angle and the steepness of this road. And once we come across this little plateau, we're going to start the climb again up towards Mammoth Hot Springs. And again, these curves are no joke. As always, video does not do justice to the angle at which you're climbing, but in some places on this road, there is a descent or climb angle of more than 6% grade. Sometimes I feel like it's almost even 8 to 10% grade, and those are pushing the extreme even for vehicles with diesel engines and compression brakes, i.e. jig brakes. And now as we come around the corner, we're getting up to the top. There's Mammoth Hot Springs coming into view. And just for fun, they throw in one more really sharp corner. And the funny thing is, it's actually downhill. And you'll see right here, there are some additional skid marks where people were trying to get slowed back down um, as they come around the corner into Mammoth Hot Springs. Way back to the left down there is where you started from. And then here we come back around the corner and it will bring us back into Mount Hot Springs. Mount Hot Springs is a great place to see all of the elk in the springtime when they have their babies. And now you can see this road doesn't look too bad. And that's probably what makes it deceiving when you first start coming out of Mammoth Hot Springs. It's not too difficult of a view. Um, and a lot of people think they can make this road safely. And I caution you that you can't.
between the edge of being alive and feeling dead. This picture of us here, it's just like a rearview mirror. Right 